Hello everyone, we are live from Fort Lauderdale. Someone's hiding. <laughs> we wanted to show you this amazing house we have listed in Fort Lauderdale and show you the construction progress. Um, we are talking, address is 3250 Northeast 59th Court. This is the landings, 56th Court, I'm sorry. Um, Hello, James. So here's the entrance to the house, but the front door is actually already finished. So we're not gonna go in through the front door. We're gonna go in through the guest bedroom door. Obviously, when this house is finished, you'll have access to a front door. So this house has five bedrooms. Five and a half bathrooms, they're all en suite. This is the guest bedroom that faces the street. And if I get you dizzy, this is on plan, so forgive that we don't even have a gimlet with us. Gimbal. Did I say gimlet? Oh my God. I said nice. gimlet. <laughs> I'm thinking alcohol in the middle of the day. That's horrible. Okay, so here you go. This is one of the, be the bathrooms for the guest bedroom. This is the front door. So this is where we would come in. So I'm gonna make believe that we're coming in the house. To the left is a guest bedroom. And now we're gonna go to bedroom number two, which faces the water and the pool. The square footage on this, James, happens to be a little over 7,100 square feet. The land is 12,500. Check out this bathroom. This is beautiful Italian granite and marble. All the materials handpicked by the owner. I have to show you this piece. This is actually the sink. It's so gorgeous. If I could describe the feel of this, this is gonna be in the guest bathroom, in the powder room. And the price was just reduced, in case you're curious, to 4.5 million. So look at the details. You have the linear diffusers for your AC. All halogen lamps, high hats. This is the powder room or half bathroom. And that's where that beautiful sink is gonna go. Now the scale of this space is really amazing. It's funny cause the vertical phone doesn't really give you the feel for it. But just so we're here and I'm showing you everything, this is storage under the staircase. So they thought of everything for every little square inch of this space. I'm gonna step this way so you can see the scale of the bridge. So you have two bedrooms downstairs and three upstairs. That's one of the bedrooms. These two bedrooms towards the back of the house have these pivot windows that connect this double height area. And then there's a bridge that connects the master to the other two bedrooms. Now we're talking Italian tile as well. Look at the scale. And what I love to look at is the installation, which is immaculate. I have an eagle eye for poor tile installation. Now we're gonna see this open kitchen. Obviously appliances are not in because the house has not been finished and they don't want to be damaged. You have a double counter and double sinks. So here's where we're gonna, you're gonna have the stove and the stove is gonna face the common areas. So when you're entertaining, you're actually looking out into the common areas. And all those little alarms, we just turned the electricity on, so that's where it's at. Okay, so when you go this way, 
let's see if we can turn the lights on, Rick. Okay, so this con this is kind of like a mudroom that connects the garage with the kitchen. And in here, we have the laundry. Look at the space, it's really crazy. And this is my favorite. You guys ready? There's a laundry chute. They exist. They still exist. So James asked if it's all above ground and it's a two-story house. Yes, we do not have basements in South Florida for obvious reasons. It may not be so obvious for people from Boston, but obviously we flood. This is a three car garage, which is also is going to have additional storage. And I'm going to take you in through these double doors to the upstairs. Check this out. Beautifully lit. We're back to the, if I didn't get you dizzy, to the living room. So, I'm not gonna be out of breath. I promise, I promise. Okay, so this is hardwood. I'll show you in a better location. And all this are stainless steel, glass, beautiful finish. This is the bridge that connects master to the two other bedrooms. And that's the double height space that we were in earlier. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the two bedrooms upstairs. So look at the size of these bedrooms. Obviously when they're empty, you can't really appreciate them. They just finished these custom made closets. The poles are missing, but everything is custom. That's closet. And you know what? I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna have Rick hold the phone so you can see the scale of the door. Let me stand here. So I'm five foot four. Look at the size of these doors. This is what like blows my mind. The scale of this house is just amazing. And now, this is another bathroom. The whole second floor has a wraparound veranda. So that actually faces the side of the house. They all have the beautiful granite, but look at the size of the shower in this bedroom. It's super cool. No, I'm not gonna go in there. <laughs> okay, we're stepping back, sorry. Okay, these, these are the pivot windows that I spoke to you about. Look at this. So the concept for these houses, and it's the other way. There we go. So they close beautifully but both of these rooms upstairs connect to the common areas. We're going to bedroom number four. This one faces the front of the street. Again, all those are custom closets. Look how beautiful. And of course, I, I failed to mention the frameless shower doors. And my favorite is the invisible drains. I'll show you those more in detail in the master. All of these will be installed shortly. And now we're going back to the bridge on the second floor. So here's again what connects. The master sits on its own. 
on the north side of the property and it faces the water. But wait till you see the details on here. They're beautiful. This particular bedroom has an amazing terrace that will show you from the outside. And if you have any questions, just shoot them at me. It has five bedrooms in total, five and a half bathrooms. 7,100 square feet. And the lot is 12,800 square feet with 108 feet on the water. Guillermo, thank you for, for watching this, guys. And Joe. So this is the master. This is where the tub is gonna go. You have your separate shower. You have his and hers closet. Hers closet obviously is bigger, obviously. Check this out. So they're in the process of finishing the custom closets. And remember the shoot, the laundry chute, that's where it is. It also has a door on the other side so you don't have to go into the bedroom for the laundry. All the sound will be finished this week. Speakers will be installed. Oh, and this is where you can see the wood floor. Look how beautiful this is. So big planks. And I'm just in awe. They just finished all this lighting this week. So I'm gonna take you downstairs again. And I'm gonna show you the outside of the house so you can see the views. So like I said before, garage, three car garage this way. I'll show you really fast. Hi, Tony. Thank you for watching. That's front door. And this is the main space. Now, if Rick dares, can you open that wind, that door? <laughs> I brought help. <laughs> so these doors, that's gonna be a summer kitchen right outside that's covered. And so the kitchen connects all the way, all the way if you can so they can see. The, kit, the actual inside kitchen connects to the summer kitchen and those doors tuck, there's a boat, inside that wall. So those few days that we have amazing weather or if you have a great party, look how awesome this area connects. So that's all gonna be, um, actually there's the, the barbecue. So it's gonna be built in, in that area and check, take a look at this. Now, these big things you see here are actually glass skylights that you can walk on, and they're gonna be placed in these holes. So the terraces upstairs are gonna have these glass skylights facing down. Hi, Carol. So take, um, terraces south florida is all about having enough shade to enjoy your outside this is exactly what they accomplished here but i want to show you the scale of one door if rick holds the phone again because i showed you the scale of the door upstairs but wait till you see this one Daisy, hello, thank you for watching with us. 
This is gonna stay live, and obviously we're gonna show you progress as we go. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs. So this is, I told you, the summer kitchen that connects that kitchen to the, this space. Do you mind closing the doors while I go upstairs so the AC doesn't escape? And then you have like this little area. Take a look at this. This is one of my favorite places in this whole house. It has like a hidden staircase that takes you to the wraparound veranda of this property. So take this room to the right is the master bedroom. And this is the terrace I spoke to you about. And it's gonna have three of those skylights with glass that you can see downstairs. And it actually brings natural light to the summer kitchen. The selling price was just reduced to 4.5 million. So this is a seller that's extremely motivated. Life changed, which is what happens to many sellers today. And you have 108 feet of water. This is direct intracoastal waterways. Hello, Miguel and Dina. So just because I can, I'm gonna walk you around the veranda because this is one of my favorite features of this house. So Florida vernacular architecture was all about creating these verandas that wrapped around houses to keep houses cool when we didn't have air conditioning. This is the front of the property. Take a look at this. And these, my friends, are invisible drains. So that's, those are the little details that I look for when I'm taking a look at good construction. I don't know if we can see inside. That's the bridge on the second floor. And then this is the bedrooms. This is bedroom four. This is the south side of the house. So you have the two bedrooms on this side. So these two windows are actually inside the shower. And they're obviously fixed glass. We're back to the front. Hello, Cheryl and Sandy. And it's such a beautiful day, it's crazy. The builder also decided to keep the tree so you can see that house stays nice and cool. And that makes me happy as a tree hugger that I am. And now we're gonna go back down and show you the dock. All these are lit, which is the type of stuff I like to show you. And so this week they're gonna start the outside of the property. They're, look, they're waiting for one permit from the city for drains. These are the holes I explained to you that are the skylights, which are those on the floor. And hopefully I won't fall while I'm showing you. They kept this beautiful banyan, I guess it's a ficus tree. Take a look at the neighbor's coconut. Super cool. And like I said before, this is direct intracoastal. So um, a lot of you have called me to ask if someone can have a 100 foot boat. And the reality is you don't see 100 foot boats because this is the part of the intracoastal where you punch it if you're a boater. I mean, you can have big boats. You can see that big one on the other side, but most owners will have their boats on lifts. I'm zooming in, hopefully won't get you too dizzy. And there's another one. 
and the type of lift you put on here will depend on your boat. So here you go. This is the back of the property. <laughs> and wanted to show you the seawall. And that tree on the other side is a sea grape. So we will be doing another one of these when we have a little bit more progress. But as I said before, we have a motivated seller. The price was lowered to 4.5 million. And if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. And I thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day.